And next up we have I'm an Evil God, written by, written, uh, and I should turn the artwork by, I'm going to say this the best I can, Shide Ming Wang. Um, it's 96 plus chapters right now. It's free weekly updates uh, on the chapters as well, which is always a plus. Um, there is no English publisher, but there is a, a publisher in New original Language, so if you want to support them there, feel free to do so. Um, and here's the novel description. Sorry, webcomic description. Across the realms is the manliest and most handsome evil god in history. The peerless beauty Man, Man Xian crossed over and fell into the vixen's lair. In order not to be drained of his entire life force, he travels between various realms, cuts down a son of a god, and repels the confederacy Ying Yang Yi. This is the story of how he eventually becomes an evil god. Okay. Um, this not this webcomic rather was recommended to me by the literary author Charles Dean, friend, uh, and I thank him for it. It ended up being delightful. I had originally read the first couple chapters like, mm, no, and then I gave it another chance because uh, Charles Dean recommended it to me as, as, as a favorite of his, and I it ended up being really enjoyable. And I kind of like binge, I mean, all the chapters. And I'm super glad the new chapters come out on a weekly basis. Um, this is a combination of a reincarnation story, cultivation, wuxia, and an RPG system. The main character dies in our world, is reincarnated into the body of a low-level loser on a cultivation martial arts world, um, who is going to die soon because his essence, or life essence, is being drained by his cultivating wife. There's a whole <laughs> kind of subplot of how she's doing this kind of um, evilish um, martial cultivation thing where she's essentially stealing his life essence uh, through sex and it's a, it's a whole a little subplot but regardless the main character has to survive the, the drain of his essence um, in, and also learn how to cultivate and become powerful enough to survive in this this cultivation martial arts world um, and and it, 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 it it's a fun story really uh, in that the main character has this RPG system where you can collect points for strong emotions directed towards him, and then purchase levels in any cultivation, martial, or spiritual technique that he he's learned. Um, and so the story ends being <laughs> where the main character does a bunch of weird acts um, just to get emotional responses so that he can survive, and, and so he's not so weak. Um, and he he does intentionally in um, things that are going to make him hated or loved or despised or, or, or jealous. And there's all these like weird acts that he's doing uh, in this world to, to try to get these emotional responses for real. Uh, and that's, that's part of the fun of, of the beginning, probably to the mid, mid part of the story. The other part of the story is him trying to figure out, um, ways to gain techniques, whether it's cultivation or, or spiritual or, or martial techniques so that he can become strong in this world where the powerful rule. Um, and the way he does that is not just in the main world, but he also actually goes to these parallel universes through the system, um, to complete quests and, and earn, learn techniques and earn more points. And this parallel world aspect is probably the other part of the story that I thought was really enjoyed because these other worlds aren't just cultivation worlds. They're, they're some like cultivation worlds, but they're also at varying levels of cultivation. And they're also ranged from like ancient worlds to, uh, ancient, like martial art worlds to the modern world. And so there's all, there's a bunch of like opportunities for like really interesting stories to be told in this universe. And, and, and a lot of these little, um, they're just essentially side stories of the main character doing this are really entertaining on their own. There's a huge variety of like different types of stories and poking fun of the different genres and, and, and what he's doing. Um, and, and so it's, they're always like these nice little breaks in the main storyline, um, for these like parallel universes. Um, and they're always, he's always getting techniques and that, that, that are applicable towards the main world as well. So it's always fun, interesting stuff there. Okay. And I'm going to show you real quick the, uh, a, a sample of the artwork by pulling up a chapter here. Um, and as you can see the nice clean artwork, there is a nice sense of humor that's funny and jokey. And you can see the, that the, that the RPG system is definitely part of, of the story very clearly. Um, so like I said, good artwork, good story, then very, very entertaining. And again, the side stories are as entertaining as the main story. So there are also nice breaks in the storytelling. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. Um, and I give this, I give the series a score of 7.8 out of 10 for, there you go. Um, for I'm an evil God gets a score of skin 7.8 out of 10.